Hey guys, it's Liz of Consumed by Books, and someone come save me! I've been turned into a dog! Ah! Actually, that's not true. This is just my yellow lab, Macy, who is five years old and currently sleeping on my bed, which is one of her favorite activities, but I wanted to show her because she's cute and doesn't get into the videos often enough. All right, on to the books, shall we? So, what we have in this part of the bookshelf tour um, is bookshelf overflow, which I was going to save for part three, but I said part two, three when I filmed my other bookshelf. So anyways, part two, here we go. Um, let's see. From Problem and Prejudice down in this stack is review books by Macy. I think she's going off in search of D-I-N-N-E-R. I also am not sure whether or not she knows that word. Anyways, um, so Problem and Prejudice down is review books. Stuff on top is actually just stuff I need to do next time I do an IMM. I'm going to move over to this stack, which is just kind of a random mix of stuff. A lot of it's YA hardcovers, but up top there's a couple different things, books of essays. Um, the Book of Awesome, which I know that's been on like my currently reading list forever. It's because I only read a few pages at a time, and I try and save it for like when I'm very upset and need some awesome in my life. Then if we go to this stack, the top five books through The Time Traveler's Wife um, is My Birthday Five which I'm going to read before my birthday on April 1st, so wish me luck with that. Um, yeah, and then if we move over here, this stack is pretty much all YA hardcovers, except there is a copy of My Antonia hiding at the bottom down there. And then we have this stack, which is by and large YA paperbacks. A couple academic books down there at the bottom. More YA hardcovers. Um, and then some paperbacks on top of my UK copies of Harry Potter. So, this is a bookshelf overflow. In case you guys are wondering, and I forgot to mention this until this point, I don't organize my books by read or not read like I know some people do. Um, I just mix them up however they fit efficiently and look nice. They have to look nice, otherwise it kind of drives me crazy. Um, so, yeah, if you want to know whether I've read something, just ask me in the comments or go look up on my Goodreads. So anyways, um, this concludes part two of my bookshelf tour. And um, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. So stay tuned for the next captivating part. <laughs> okay, sorry, that was corny. Bye guys.